Yo, what up guys? Welcome to your one-stop shop. Four Cops, this is Kevin, and today I wanted to tell you about something that may have been losing me a lot of potential subscribers, and um, that's actually not catering to a very, very large audience. Like, I know, I know, I, I usually go with Reebok, and uh, by usually I mean like, I'm pretty sure I've made like one video not about Reebok um, within my shoe era, but that's going to change today. Um, no, it's not going to change today. Um, but what's going to change is we're going to actually consider other people. We're actually going to consider women in the picture when we're talking about Reebok because Reebok actually has a podcast for women by women. So that's right, guys. Reebok uh, is the first brand to kind of collaborate and put out something where it's a podcast for women by women, um, and this is this is a a podcast where they'll be talking about the influence of f feminine people and feminine influence in general on sneaker culture and and just the game uh, and streetwear. This is a collaboration with Gimlet Media, who I guess is probably doing all the tech stuff for this podcast. Um, but additionally, something that people might not know is that Reebok was the first shoe company to come out with an athletic shoe especially for women and that was the freestyle high um, so that's a shoe that Tayana Taylor used to push a lot and uh, it's a really cool shoe and I always wondered why it didn't come in men's shoes because that's kind of the agenda that they were pushing like this is this is their women's shoe and um, I guess no one's really gonna take that away from them so Reebok is pretty cool right Reebok was the first brand to come out with that sort of shoe um, and that's why they're pioneering this podcast. I know that there are lots of figures out there talking about how, um, how women have influenced the sneaker culture. And um, uh, there are lots of idols to look up to, including uh, Monica Lin, who is a, uh, a streetwear culture guru, who uh, is the creative director for Popular Demand, and uh, other people as well, as I will mention in the details of this podcast. They have figures like Emily Oberg, who used to do some work for Complex, and Denise Austin, who's a fitness guru on YouTube. Um, this is this is really cool because you get a bunch of like really high high profile people coming in to make a sneaker podcast. This is all hosted by Scotty Beam, who is a radio host uh, most of the time, and um, yeah, I think it's really cool. If I had to put my two cents in, um, it would be like. First off, take the two cents of people who you're not really uh, catering to because women women make up a really large portion of the sneaker, sneaker world and uh, that just has to be recognized. Um, everything that I present is usually for men. I know that there have been a couple of women's collaborations where I was like, oh man, I wish uh, that would have released in a men's, men's like size, but I mean, I, I could do it, but women's feet are a little bit more narrow. Uh, that's the way that shoes are designed at least, but I guess as guys we kind of have to recognize that um, I mean women all the time are probably like oh I wish that came out in a women's size uh, So that's just kind of like Just kind of like noticing that people should not be an afterthought and people you're trying to cater to Especially as a sneaker company uh, shouldn't really be forgotten. I hope you guys like this knowledge drop and uh, I think it's a really cool thing for Reebok to be doing to be the only major sneaker brand to be putting out a podcast for women in sneaker culture. And uh, I know that everyone loved Emily Oberg in Complex um, because, I don't know, she's just like cool and chill. Hi right, girls and guys, thank you so much for stopping by your one-stop shop for cops. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you thought this was surprising to you or if you will tune into this podcast because I know it's going to be happening uh, at least on iTunes. I don't know if there are any other sources. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. See ya.